Dr. Moore, tell me about FIT and what you do there. Lucas, now that I'm retired, I work three days a week at FIT, a weight loss center, helping people to lose weight. It's important not to gain weight. It's bad for your health. So I'm very proud and pleased to work there with a very happy group of people doing good work for people. And I think we do. When you were a kid, did you know that you wanted to be a doctor? If not, what did you want to become? I did not know I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be an airplane pilot. And so, when I was in the Navy, I did a little bit of that. But when I got out of the Navy, could I be a doctor? Could I be a lawyer? Could I be an Indian chief? I didn't think I could be the last two. So I said, I could be a doctor. And I became that because I saw a book about terrible war injuries in the First World War back in 1914, 18, and how a great surgeon developed techniques to help restore the faces of young men who had been shattered by bullets or high explosives. Is there anything in life you feel you've missed out on? There are certainly two. One is to be able to play a musical instrument. Well, beyond that, I'd like to also be able to do watercolors well. And beyond that, I'd like to be able to pole vault about 18 feet. Pole vault? Dr. Moore, what, what advice do you have to pass on to my generation? There are three things that you can do in life. You can work, you can play, and you can love, all of which need practice and will never be fully perfected, but you can work to get as near the best you can with all of them. Work, play, and love. What made you want to teach a poetry class? I taught at McClay a poetry class describing the history of English and American poetry because I'm a great believer in the power of words, both to affect us emotionally and intellectually. Dr. Moore, why is it important for seniors to be active? There is a Latin expression, fac et spero, which means do and hope. To be doing, namely to be active, gives you hope. And hope is what keeps all of us functioning at the best level we can. Looking back at all of your accomplishments, what are you most proud of? Marrying my wife. Everything beyond that is uh, secondary. And of course, being a doctor, having practiced in Tallahassee, having done the things I did in Ukraine to operate on orphans who would otherwise not get this kind of care in that country, having enjoyed taking music, all of these things have been part of what I consider to be a pretty fulfilled and enriched life. <laughs>